There's not much in life more distressing than coming home one day to find an empty cage or hutch, or to find that the usual daily greeting given to you by your dog is strangely absent because they've run away become lost or been stolen. Most people will go out into the neighborhood and post up pictures appealing to passers-by to call if they happen to see the lost pet. Sometimes, though, animals manage to find their own way home after a long absence. Who is it? Who is it? much to the surprise and joy of their owners. So if you're in the mood for incredible adventure stories, here's 15 pets that returned home after being lost. <sighs> Number 15. Willow the Cat Back in 2016, Willow the Calico Cat set out on a monumental journey. Of course, being a cat, she wasn't able to let her owners know that her pilgrimage would see her leave home for a full five years. Aged only a year old, when she decided to go walk about, her owners, the Squires family of Boulder, Colorado, eventually gave up hoping of ever finding her after going through all the usual methods of trying to track her down. The five and a half pound cat, they figured, had probably gone a little too far and been eaten by a coyote or an owl, of which there are plenty nearby, so they sadly gave up hope of ever seeing her again. However, in 2011, they were shocked to receive a call from an animal rescue center in New York City, telling them that their cat had been found wandering down East 20th Street, near Gramercy Park, Manhattan. She had been identified by a microchip, which was implanted when the Squires first acquired her. You have some secrets, don't you? Finally reunited after her 1,800-mile trek, Willow's life in those five years will always be a mystery. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Here's a big pooch that took a two-year walkabout before deciding to return home to her owner, Sarah, who serves in the military. Here we see Sarah and Bruno the Labrador reuniting after all that time. Where do you think Bruno has been all this time? What kind of crazy things might a dog get up to with the freedom to do as they pleased? And why do they come back after all? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Opie the Horse Back in 2002, Michelle Poole arrived at her father's ranch in San Antonio, Texas, and discovered the fence that kept her beloved horse Opie in his paddock had been clipped and opened, and the horse was gone. Horse theft is still a common crime in the United States, and Poole was devastated. She reported the crime and launched her own investigation, registering the horse on the website of the organization Stolen Horse International. Ten years later, a woman went to look at a horse that was listed for sale on Craigslist. Remember that? In Dayton, Texas. Curious to know more about the horse, she asked questions about his past, and the seller alleged that he had been a gift from a pastor who had found him roaming on the I-10 highway. A Google search for the story about the stray horse and the pastor led the woman to stumble on the Stolen Horse International site, and then by chance on a picture of the distinctive Opie. She called the number and the rest of the pieces fell into place. After some calls, Michelle Poole was reunited with her horse, Oh yeah. and it seems Opie never forgot her. Number 13. Missing Dog Returns Home with New Dog and Goat Friend Bo the Black Labrador decided to make a break out of his Kansas home, which he shares with his owners, the Career family, and go on an adventure. The only problem is that the Career family were worried sick for a week, wondering what had happened to their best friend. They searched the nearby open fields and did everything they could to track the dog down, but there were no leads. Finally, after a week, the Careers received a call to say that a dog fitting Bo's description had been seen playing in a field about six miles from their home, so they drove out to see what was going on. When they got there, they discovered that Bo was indeed playing in the field and had made 
two friends, a dog named Ozzy and a goat named Libby. Both of the animals belong to the Creer's neighbors, and it seems Bo managed to break the pair out so they could all go out together, with Libby given the role of honorary dog during the mission. All three remain the best of friends, but will be given supervised playtime from now on. Number 12. Miracle Lost Cat Allison Flitton of Utah thought her cat Mittens was gone for good after she disappeared for four months. Flitton and her family had driven their boat from their home in Mountain Green to Salt Lake for repairs, but unknown to them, their kitty had been hiding under the boat's tarpaulin. After dropping the boat off at the repair shop, the family returned home to discover that Mittens was no longer around. Meanwhile in Salt Lake, the boat repairman pulled off the tarp to get to work, causing the cat to flee. Flitton cried when she finally realized that her cat had probably died somewhere and would never be found. However, after four months, Mittens showed up in a woman's garden in Park City, which is on the way from Salt Lake back to Mountain Green. She called a veterinarian, and thanks to a microchip, was able to locate the Flitton family and reunite them. Amazingly, Mittens was heading in the right direction home and had managed to cross a mountain on his way. He was in good shape, other than needing some treatment for damaged paws, but Allison Flitton was more than happy to see him again. Number 11. Lost Horse Lisa Markley, a breeder of Arabian horses from Arizona, sent her beloved mare, Alistair, away to Minnesota for breeding. After successful impregnation, Alistair was due to be transported back to her, but something went awry. On the return journey, a case of mistaken identity meant that the pregnant horse ended up getting lost. She was, uh, was basically a case of mistaken identity. Markley made pleas on local television for help finding her horse, and was seemingly heartbroken by the loss of this member of her family. She began her own investigation and managed to find out that someone had sold Alistair at an auction house in El Paso, Texas. While this was good news in some ways, she was also terrified knowing that El Paso contained many horse auction houses for the horse slaughter business. She reached out to her colleagues in the Arabian horse breeding community, but no one had any information. So she flew out to El Paso the following morning. As she was about to board the plane, she received a call from someone who said they'd spotted Alistair, figured she was out of place, and bought her at the auction, just 24 hours before she would have been sent to Mexico to be slaughtered. A relieved Markley was soon reunited with her beloved horse. Number 10. Lost Bird this time, it's another beloved pet, but one of the winged kind. This cockatiel named Skipper took flight one day and disappeared for three years. Skipper took off one day into the sky above Statesville, North Carolina, much to the surprise and upset of his owner, Larry Ward. Larry describes Skipper as part of the family. He was a part of the family, basically. And says he was distraught when he realized what had happened, but pretty quickly accepted that he would never see Skipper again. Sometimes, Larry felt sure he could hear Skipper whistling his favorite tune, the Mexican hat dance, among the trees outside his home. But he could never catch sight of the bird, and decided it must just be wishful thinking. However, one day, three years after Skipper's disappearance, Ward's two grandsons came rushing into the house to say they thought they'd seen Skipper out in the yard. It certainly looked like Skipper, so he decided to perform the acid test, whistling the Mexican hat dance. When the bird responded with the correct tune, he knew it was really Skipper. Home at last. Number 9. Mellow the Cat Jeff Thomas and his family lived in the Bay Area of San Francisco back in 2011 while he was stationed there with the military. Once that portion of his service was up, the family, including their cat Mello, moved to a new home in Hayward. Only not long after, they discovered their cat had disappeared. They searched the old neighborhood, hoping he would turn up, but to no avail. Eventually, Jeff was transferred to a military base in Virginia, and they gave up hope of ever finding Mello. Six years later, however, the cat showed up in the garden of Bay Area resident Petra Stojka. So he was meowing right over here, and then we were... After asking around her housing complex, neighbors said the cat had been living wild there 
for a couple years. Mello's friendly temperament led to Petra befriending the cat, and then taking Mello to the veterinarian, who was able to locate the Thomas family and reunite them with their cat, who this time surely will be given strict instructions not to wander too far from the home. Number 8. Blue Macaw in Houston, Texas, a blue macaw worth $10,000 was stolen in July 2018 from its owner, Sean Welling. Grover, the macaw, was taken from his atrium by a thief, much to the distress of his owner, who had owned him for 13 years. Blue macaws, also known as hyacinth macaws, are an endangered and protected species from South America, whose numbers have been in rapid decline, partially due to illegal trapping for the caged bird trade. However, it seems this was no daring rescue mission, with the idea of returning Grover to his sparse companions in the wild. As it turns out, he was sold on the street to a Houston man for $600. The man saw the viral social media campaign launched by Welling, a member of whose family offered a $10,000 reward for the return of Grover. The man who bought him said he realized the bird's previous owner had little idea of how to care for a macaw, and so paid up for him and rescued Grover from a diet of salted sunflower seeds was feeding its salted uh, sunflower seed. Back in his cage, Grover will now be protected by a newly installed high-security fence. Number 7. Lost Parrot more parrot antics, this time with a little guy named Pipokos from Ottawa, Canada. Pipokos the parrot had been part of the De Fritas family for 18 years, when a door was accidentally left open, allowing the bird to make his escape. Paulo de Fritas, the owner of the bird, was distraught to discover Pipokos was no longer around. He called up the local TV news network and asked them to get on the case, and so Pipokos' image was broadcast around the city in the home hope someone might recognize him. The following day, a man named Jay Scrivens spotted the unusual-looking bird stranded in the middle of a road while he waited for a bus near a shopping center. That's where Jay Scrivens found him in the middle of the street. Realizing that this probably wasn't a wild bird, he was able to get Popokos to hop onto his finger, and then took it to a friend's house, where they took care of it until finally they saw the news broadcast and emailed in to say they had found the bird and that he was safe and well. Pretty soon, Pipokos was back in the De Frites home, along with his best friend, a lovebird named Dorinda. Number 6. Lost Cow An adventurous Polish cow decided to break for freedom, leaving the farm life behind to roam the wild in the primeval Bialoiza forest. Being a herd animal by instinct, the young cow soon joined up with a herd of wild bison and was seemingly accepted by them as one of their own. An ornithologist spotted the cow hanging around the 50-strong bison herd near the Polish-Belarusian border in late 2017, and was surprised to see it there. Later that winter, the cow was spotted again, seemingly healthy and having a great time with her new family, by a biologist who said it was the first time he'd ever seen such a thing. However, in spite of good relations between the cow and the bison, she remains both a danger to them and to herself. Breeding hybrid cow bison babies into the herd could weaken the already vulnerable bison population with domestic genes, while the hybrid babies are larger than regular cow calves and could kill her during the birth. So a team has set out to capture the cow and return her to her pasture, but she may never forget her winter running free with the bison. Number 5. Lost Budgerigar a hotel guest in Yokohama, Japan, was surprised back in 2012 when a friendly-seeming parakeet flew in through the hotel window and sat on his shoulder. After some further brief introductions, the guest informed the hotel, and it was decided that the bird was likely an escaped pet, so the police were informed. The budgie was taken down to the station for questioning, but remained tight-lipped. The next couple of days, the cops looked through any reports of a lost parakeet that had come in, but without any success in locating the owner. Finally, after 48 hours in custody, the bird decided to spill everything, and recited his entire home address, including the city, district, block, and street number. <laughs> this certainly made things easier for the police, who were then able to contact the parakeet's owner. And by this time, the bird had also given up its name, 
as Pico Chan, having repeated the phrase, You're pretty, Pico Chan, multiple times. Pico Chan's 64 year old owner explained she had lost one bird before, and so had taught Pico Chan to recite her address, and it turned out to work perfectly as they were reunited. Number 4. Lost Dog A Wyoming family took a trip out to a remote cabin to go on a shooting trip to celebrate the dog owner's 30th birthday there. While out enjoying the wild nature around them, someone forgot to close the cabin door, and their pet dog Hank made a run for it. And in spite of all their efforts to find him, it seemed like Hank was gone for good. They were distraught. We just thought it was impossible that he would come back at that point. Believing he might have been attacked by one of the area's big predators, such as black and grizzly bears. Normally after 30 days, it's time to give up on a lost pet, according to statistics. But Hank seems like the kind of dog who wants to beat the odds. After two months roaming the mountains and wilderness of Wyoming, he was found by someone. And before long, a couple of phone calls were being made that would see Hank reunited with his grateful owners, who said they never gave up hope on being reunited with their best buddy. Number 3. Lost Tortoise You'd think of all the animals, the hardest to lose might be a pet tortoise. It hardly seems likely to sprint, or indeed fly, away like some of the other entries on our list. But that's what the Almeida family assumed had happened back in 1982, when their pet tortoise Manuela disappeared. Manuela must have escaped during construction work, which was being undertaken on their home in Rialengo, Brazil, after a gate had been left open by a worker. Now grown up, Leonel Almeida returned to his childhood home after 30 years later, following the death of his father. He began to sort through the many years of accumulated junk belonging to his father, and hired a skip to throw away things that were no longer of use, most of which had been packed into a storage room. A neighbor pointed out to him that the old box of records he'd just tipped into the skip also contained a tortoise, and Leonel immediately recognized Manuela. Leonel says he turned pale and could not believe it. But it was true. Manuela had spent the last 30 years locked in an old storage room by mistake, grubbing termites for survival. That's one lonely sentence, but what a survivor this tortoise turned out to be. Number 2. Lost Parrot British resident of California, Darren Chick, lost his pet African grey parrot, Nigel. Back in 2010, he had trained the bird to speak with an impeccable accent worthy of the queen, and he was saddened to lose his feathered friend. Fast forward four years, and Nigel showed up in the garden of Jalissa Sperling in the town of Torrance, California. She described Nigel as being the happiest bird she'd ever met. Constantly chatting and singing, as well as barking like a dog, she made inquiries and discovered a veterinary technician named Teresa Miko and was looking for her own lost bird. But it turned out Nigel was not Teresa's parrot. Although strangely enough, she had implanted Nigel's microchip back in 2006. The chip was faulty, but through further investigations in the veterinary world, they were finally able to trace Nigel back to his British owner. While Chick was pleased to have his long-lost pet back, he will never know who the Larry is that Nigel keeps asking for, or how he acquired a strong Spanish accent when he talks. Number 1. Holly the Cat Jacob and Bonnie Richter of West Palm Beach, Florida, were enjoying their retirement by driving their RV around the state, accompanied by their cat Holly. However, during one vacation to Daytona, the four-year-old house cat dashed through an open door, and there was nothing the Richters could do to stop her. They posted flyers and called the animal rescue services, but after a two-week search, they were forced to give up and return home to West Palm Beach, some 200 miles from Daytona. Two months later, on New Year's Eve, a neighbor of the Richters found an exhausted, dehydrated, and underweight cat in her backyard. The woman took the cat in, fed Holly back to health, and then took her to a veterinarian, who was able to locate the Richters via Holly's microchip. Animal behavior experts were astonished to learn that an indoor cat with no experience of the outside world made this immense journey home and survived the incredible dangers from cold, hunger, cars, and predators more or less unscathed. Only Holly will ever know the true story of this incredible journey home. What a lot of incredible stories. I hope you're impressed by some of the amazing abilities of some of these animals. 
Have you ever lost an animal, only for it to return later? Would you train your pet Budrigar to speak its own address, like the ingenious Japanese lady in Yokohama? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!